See what we do here. Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you today, and I'm real excited. I got a bull pup shotgun I want to show you. Hey, let's go put it on the table and let me tell you something about it. All right, there they are on the table, guys. All right, Jason, tell me something about this one. All right, this is the first semi-automatic bullpup shotgun on the U.S. market. And it's brought to us by uh, DDI. They're importing it from China. It's the LAK-12 Puma. It's been available on the Canadian market for a couple of years, but it's just now being imported uh, to the U.S. by DDI. And it's the first semi-automatic bullpup shotgun. Okay, and the other one we have on the table? Uh, this is the Mossberg 930. It's uh, got an 18-inch barrel, and what I want to do is kind of bring it out. This is a 19-inch barrel, and I wanted to kind of show the point of uh, the bullpup. Okay. So, 19-inch barrel, 18-inch barrel, semi-automatic. I mean, the difference is huge. Especially huge. for home defense, you know, going around corners in your house or whatnot. Yes. I do that all the time, you know. Yeah. Just for fun, right? Okay, let me change angles here where I can see this thing. All right, nice and light, seven and a half pounds. Uh, in comparison, the Mossberg we had on the scale just a minute ago, it was uh, just over seven pounds. So very com comparable. Full, mm -hmm. full rail up top. We've got this Romeo 7 Optic from Optics Planet. Uh, out for testing we like to put them on shotguns to see if the red dots will hold up to that uh, it takes a double a battery um it's one of the, its cool feature is that it's motion sensitive so uh and they're saying that it will also last for seven years if you uh and, yeah, you <laughs> continuously know, on for seven years so, so that one could last me the rest of my life is that's what you're saying it's possible okay um so it's real interesting. Uh, inside, um, you do have a hammer forged um, bolt and carrier, uh, chrome lined barrel, so there's some really nice, cool premium features. Um, here's your bolt release right here. The bolt does stay back, even without a magazine in it. That's how you uh, release it. And then you have magazine release on both sides. Right. That's a little odd. It is, it's different. Something. All right, so we got the adjustable gas system here as well. So you see the larger dot and the smaller dot. The larger dot is going to be your general purpose for your your bird shot, um, and then the smaller dot is going to let let less gas in the system for like your slugs and your buck shot. But I think we're just going to leave it right there for today. You also notice that uh, we've got a SGM Tactical Saber Boss uh, Sega muzzle brake on there. It does accept. Um, uh, Sega style um, muzzle brakes and obviously didn't come with that one but this is a, it's a cool muzzle brake so had to put that on there for Big Daddy yeah can't have anything just you know playing out of the box right that's right gotta have a little bling bling yeah nice bull pups are cool they are do we show you the safety over here that's a little different see zero is for safety and then the one is for safety off Okay. All right, what else? I think that's it. You got uh, five round magazines. They're proprietary. Uh, we understand that uh, larger magazines are coming. Yes, sir. Okay. Here's some eight and 10 round mags, right? Yeah, and so today we're just going to be shooting some standard bird shot. You want at least over 1,200 feet per second. Uh, and then we got some cool uh, buck shot and some slugs from. Uh, Freedom Munitions. So definitely check out that. We, we didn't know that Freedom Munitions made these and they are super nice. Yeah, I like that. We have first time trying those. Yeah, copper slugs. Yes, sir. So. Okay. So what kind of damage we can do with that? All right, let's do it. All right. Let's see here. Got one home, we're on fire. Let's see what she does. <laughs> oh let's see that's it okay and it locked open yeah yeah I, I, I wasn't used to looking down there you know yeah I couldn't see that 
And you just push this little button right here to drop the magazine. Yeah. There you go. So I notice you have to slam it in there pretty pretty good. Um, give it a pop. Seems like when it's not loaded, you don't have to do that. But if you've got shells in it, you do, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. All right. Let's drop this mag. I'll get used to these controls in a minute. You're doing pretty good for an old guy. Yeah, you think? Okay, here we go. All here right, go. that you popped in really, really good. I yeah, heard you that. You can hear it. Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me get behind you. All right. So let's just go for the gong right now, okay? How about the buffalo and the little popper. Or not. Five rounds goes pretty quick. Yeah, I need more rounds. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, this thing feels good. And it's not a lot of kick, Jason. You gotta shoot this. Yeah, it's a semi-auto. It's taking a lot of that uh, gas and using it to throw the bolt back. I know. I'm gonna have to have one of these if this keeps up. Yeah. Let's go shoot it. All right. So we only got two mags, guys, so we're just gonna be uh, switching out, reloading, and then coming back and shooting some more. Okay. You're gonna like this. Yeah. Okay, buddy. All right, I'm feeling adventurous. Here's some of the, some 1,200 feet per second independence. We always have trouble with some automatics <laughs> in this uh, this particular round. So I'm gonna say it won't cycle that. I was right. Yeah. Winchester Super X, 1,255 feet per second. Okay. What are you shooting? Uh, spinner. All right. Lock back. Okay. Runs like a champ, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Like that red dot on there is pretty cool too. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. You don't want to shoot it some more, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know I do. Here, we'll load it up and I'll set those uh set that back up for you, all right? All right. Okay. I like I'm liking this thing, buddy. Here we go. All right, we're on fire. All right, let's see if I can hit that whirly gig there. I pulled the trigger for more, I need more <laughs> ammo. <laughs> All right, let me eject that. And let's see. How about that? Let me try that spinner. All right. We're how come it goes home with you? I don't know. And more tactical. Uh, yeah, you think you were more tactical? Yeah. All right, get up my shoulder, buddy. All right, here we go. Oh, if I had one more round, I think I could make that thing spin. What do you think? Probably. All right, let's try some different ammo in it. All right. All right, let's do it. Okay, what we got there, buddy? All right, uh, we got some extreme buckshot from Freedom Munitions, and I've also got the extreme slugs we're gonna try too, so. Hey, that's extreme, you know that? That's extreme. Might be too extreme. Okay. Okay. Try it against the uh, paint cans and some of those cinder blocks. Okay. Oh yeah. Aim right in the middle of those. <laughs> How about the uh, bowling pin? Ah, oh, never enough ammo. Never enough ammo. Copper. Oh, there you go. And it went home. Yeah. 
All right, what are you shooting at? Uh, bowling pin and then rubber dummy. We're going to see how he likes the slug. Yeah, you want to tear out my rubber dummy. I sh just one or two times. Okay. Okay. Oh! Yep, he's dead. I didn't shoot the rubber dummy. I shot the bowling pin. I know the bowling pin's dead. Yeah, rubber dummy. Oh, how about a headshot? Neck shot. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty, pretty extreme. Uh slugs there let's go take a look okay what you got those are some extremely large holes in the dummy you probably don't want to shoot your dummy with the uh, you know one ounce slugs yep that that would suck to get shot like that <laughs> yeah and then you messed up his hair too yeah he's got donald trump hair yeah, he does sort of right he's a little comb over there yeah all right and you made a mess yeah kill my bowling pin all right what else that's pretty sweet yes yeah, sweet. i think i'm just gonna take this home with me okay nope <laughs> <laughs> okay give me your thoughts buddy uh, i think it's nice we had one hiccup with the independence but uh we always uh have a problem with that particular brand of ammunition uh out of some automatic shotguns it ran flawlessly with the winchester double a uh, Super X rather and the the buckshot and birdshot that was fun nice little package you know small mm -hmm. you got your slings points there it looks like there's a spot here for rails they, they didn't come in the box but maybe that's something uh, for future development so this is definitely one to, to watch guys I'm sure DDI is not going to leave it the way it is they're going to uh, continue to roll out accessories and uh, improve upon it as time goes by but if you want a semi-automatic uh, bullpup shotgun, this is uh, the only game in town, but it's a good game, so. I agree. I was a little skeptical at first, but I'm yeah. gonna have to give that one a sweet 12 gauge bullpup cherry pie, right? Yeah, uh, you take it down with just by pushing this one pin out right here. Uh, like we said, there's a cold hammer forged uh, trunnion uh, and a bolt in there. Um, we're not going to take that apart for you on this particular video, maybe in a future one. I'm glad. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. If you like this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. Check the information we post underneath the video. And if you want to support the channel, please go to hoppinfirearms.com. You can find some cool patches there, rubber dummies, and all kind of good stuff. All right. As always, keep up the fight against gun control, and remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. Let's go shoot something else, Jason. All right.